What's going on YouTube? I'm Wayne. This is Wayne's Fish World. Today, I'm coming at you guys with my 125 gallon and doing another top 5, top 10, whatever you guys want to call it. You guys like my top 10 myth about UV sterilizers. You like my top 5 favorite fish of freshwater or saltwater or whatever that video was titled. So today, I'm going to be talking about top 5 favorite schooling fish. Now, we're going to be judging these fish on their schooling characteristics. And that being said, this is my personal opinion. You guys have your own top five. I want you guys to leave your thoughts and comments in the section below. And let's dive into it. The first thing I want to say is an honorable mention. An honorable mention is going out to clown loaches. Clown loaches are an amazing schooling fish. And based on their schooling properties, they should be on the top five. But they look cute when they're this big. And if they stayed that big, that's cool. But unfortunately, these clown loaches get big. And when they get bigger, they get less attractive and they just get kind of ugly in my opinion. I mean, they still look good, they're still cool fish, but when it comes to a schooling fish, who really has the room for 15, 12 inch long clown loaches? It's not realistic. So, I will mention to the clown loaches. Number five, this was also uh, number five on my favorite freshwater fish I believe and you people are gonna go really what do you have against these fish number five are discus discus are number five simply because the same reason they were number five on my other list their personality discus cluster in nature they hide in driftwood and rocks and crevices and stuff like that so they can be sheltered discus are easy going fish um, they're like that shy kid at school who does nothing wrong and doesn't want any trouble but gets bullied. But when they're breeding, they can get a little bit aggressive and don't mess with them. But um, yeah, discus are number five because they're just kind of blah. They're beautiful fish. Beautiful. Drop dead gorgeous. But like I said before, they're like that shallow girl. And then she turns out to be shallow. You know, it's it's not worth it. So discus come in number five because of their personality. If discus had a better personality when they schooled that well, wow, they would be number one. Number four, it's what I have in my tank and I added five of them today. And that's why I made this video, are the Rummy Nose Tetris. There's a lot of different Tetris out there and I've chose two on this, on this list. And Rummy Nose come in at fourth place. They're really a beautiful little fish. They stay in tight schools. They are active. They're social. They eat together. They sleep together. They, they're they just, they stay together. And that is why they're higher on the list. It's because their activity, their social behavior, their characteristics, and they are good looking fish. Number three is another Tetra. And it only looks that much better than the rummy nose and when you combine these two fish in the same aquarium wow the cardinal tetra now why didn't i choose a neon tetra the neon tetra is not on this list because neon tetras don't school as well so this being a schooling top five they're off the uh they're not even on the choices so cardinal tetras are much better schoolers they will stick together and it looks really really badass when you have like a 40 gallon breeder and a hundred cardinal tetras that is just phenomenal in my opinion they are really really good looking fish and when you put some color max bulbs on there their colors just pop plus for the same reason like the rummy noses i love their characteristics number four you guys are gonna go wow is he really saying that number four on my I mean, i'm sorry number two I'm going backwards. Number two on my uh, top five list is African cichlids. No one suspected that. I love African cichlids. There was a time in middle school where I kept them and I went through that phase where I loved African cichlids and I had Oscars, had a Paku. I loved that phase and I still love those fish. It's just I made a decision. Do I want an ecosystem tank? Or I do, do I want to tank with some rocks and some good looking fish? And I said, I think I like the ecosystem better. So I chose the route of having an ecosystem 
rather than a tank with some rocks and some gorgeous fish. Now, African cichlids come in number two because of their personality and their looks. There's many different kinds of cichlids out there, and wow, having a a show size tank with some show size fish and their colors at peak conditions, wow, it's it's hard to beat an African cichlid show size fish that schools together. It's it's really hard to beat that. But there's one fish in my opinion that did beat them. This is my opinion. Rainbow fish. I made a video not too long ago, you guys can check it out right here, on rainbow fish. And I said they are my favorite schooling fish. Why is that? Because rainbow 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 fish are uh, just beautiful fish and their characteristics, they're social. And there's one thing that made them beat African cichlids, and that is their nature. They're not as aggressive as African cichlids. If African cichlids weren't as aggressive as they are, they'd be number one. Because when I set up a tank, I don't want to see constant fighting in fish. I don't want the stress. I don't like that stuff. So I want to see peaceful schoolings. That's why I really like rummy noses and uh, cardinal tetras. And I like discus, but they're they're just kind of they're just boring as hell. And rainbow fish are peaceful, they're active, they're social, they're colorful, they're vibrant, they're they've got so much personality. So rainbow fish come in at number one. African cichlids would come in number one if they weren't aggressive, and discus would come in number one if they actually had some personality. That being said, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Leave your thoughts and comments in the section below. Later.